Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna test safety footwear. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are about 60,000 workplace foot injuries every single year that are serious enough to require days off work. Ah, ah, my foot! You ran over my foot! It struck my foot. Ow, 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 ow. Out of those 60,000 foot injuries, about 75% are due to employees not following the company's rules. Okay, rule five, safety first. What that means is, a lot of these injuries are taking place because people aren't wearing their safety shoes. So I thought it would be really interesting to do a test of non-safety toe shoes versus safety shoes with some common workplace hazards. About 80% of foot injuries are caused by objects weighing less than 30 pounds being dropped on the foot. Now an ASTM rated safety shoe is tested to withstand an impact of about 75 pounds. Today, we're gonna to test impact by dropping this hook, which weighs about 20 pounds, on both safety toe shoes and non-safety toe shoes. Now, each of the toes of these shoes is filled with hot dogs to kind of loosely mimic toes. Impacts are one thing, but compressions from rolling objects or mobile equipment is another. ASTM rated safety toe shoes are built to withstand a compression force of up to 2,500 pounds. The closest thing we have on site to that today is a compactor that weighs 3,500 pounds. So that's what we're going to use to test out our safety shoes. Now keep in mind that 3,500 pounds is distributed across two rollers. For those of you out there who are concerned about exhaust fumes, we have two roll-up doors on either side of this one behind me and both are open so we got plenty of airflow through here to keep everything safe. Now the average ASTM rated safety toe shoe isn't cut resistant, but we wanted to do this test just because it's a common problem and it's interesting to see. Now, what happens a lot of the time is when people are finishing a cut with a chainsaw, what they'll do is they'll finish the cut and once this chainsaw blade breaks through the cutting media, it'll come down and just barely nick the corner of their shoe. We do recommend using a chainsaw safe shoe when you're using a chainsaw, but just for fun, we're gonna test out this chainsaw using both our safety toe shoe and our non-safety toe shoe. So let's try it out.
So what we learned from this test is that a rubber stopper right on the front of your toe can provide a little bit of protection from a saw. But if the saw is to hit you on the top of the foot, it's going to cut through the fabric or leather of any shoe just like butter. But if you have a steel toe or composite toe, it's a good amount of protection from a saw. However, we still recommend always using chainsaw safe boots when you're using a chainsaw. So what did all of this prove? Don't try to pass off average boots for safety toe boots. Choose the right shoe for the job and stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.